Hello everybody, this is GameCube Person 111 again with a um, video of uh, my completed Nintendo 64 portable. I uploaded a progress video a long while ago and I never got the chance to actually make a video of it so I thought I'd show it off now. But um so I basically copied again Shock Slayers, one of his uh Nintendo 64 portals. I think he does them really nicely, so that is this one. So on the front we have the joystick, D pad, the volume buttons, start, C buttons, and A and B. Obviously the screen. And we have a power LED, um, first player port, switch between internal and external. The um, Actually the Z button, we have L button right here. Um, also a second player port, power switch, and R button. And on the back is the uh, cartridge slot, rewired and the game just goes in right there and this port right here is for LLB64 because I planned on making a second N64 portable but I don't know if I'll ever get to it so this is pretty much the system and I, I'll show you it running in a little bit um, I'll just actually show you my workspace right now. We have a thingy right there. This is some stuff. If anyone even watches these videos, I don't even know who pays attention to my channel, but I do. here's the Wii laptop, and we still have Pokey Ruby 11 with us. Oh, yeah! Give a shout out. Oh, crap! <laughs> Oh yeah, that was good. You just gave a shout out, idiot. And I have yet to show you this second game be portable. <laughs> will be in another video right after this, oh, probably. Yeah. So yeah, this is just my workspace. Got a game, <laughs> this Wii disk drive, some hard drives, secret stuff. Get over here. And this is pretty much my workspace. We've got a bunch of junk over here. I'm not going to miss this in my so, um, I think Pokey Ruby 11 would like to demo this system. No! For us. Do you wanna. Okay. Let's do this! I'm just gonna show you this running real quick. Boom. Actually. Hold on. I actually forgot Chill. to uh, show that that doesn't work at all. It's just a vent. Charger jack is silver. And the yellow jack is for um, external power. And as you can see, this does run off of uh, batteries. But uh, batteries are kind of low, so I'm going to connect it to the wall for now. And um, so Pokey Ruby 11 is going to demonstrate. Just hold on a second. I'm going to pull this in. Okay, so just plug it in there, and it if you can get it automatically in. turns on. <gasps> so it's just the Super Mario 64, which no one probably knows what it is, right? And no, but okay. So I know so you can so see this is. A, Really fun. I believe this took me about three months to build. It uh, was actually built as a commission type project for a friend who used to go to my school, but he never followed through with uh, paying for it, so I just kept it. And I think that's alright because it's pretty awesome. So, as you can see, it's fully functional except that 
I do not have a expansion pack inside. I tried um, connecting one up, but I was getting lots of problems with the system resetting and the expansion pack overheating as well. So I hate that. I'm not really sure what that was about, but I just put the original jumper pack in there and left it like that. So, um, yeah, I was really happy with the way this turned out, and it's uh, a lot of fun, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so, I will probably be making a video on, uh, my second GameCube Portable right after this, and I apologize that it's been so long since a new video, if anyone really watches my stuff. So, I will talk to you later. Goodbye.